Welcome, welcome once again to Cooking Around's channel. Welcome, welcome. Today I have something special for you. My mother taught me how to make this. What's it called? Portuguese traditional fish soup. Now this is not any ordinary soup. This is done with cod and shrimp. Now I put a little twist on it, what my mother was doing, you know, because I like it to make it a little bit more hearty and a little bit more like a chowder. But you need to try this. It's really, really good for you, high in nutrients and high in protein. So let's get going and let me show you how to put this together. Grab yourself a pot, put in about what, six pints of water, add about half a teaspoon of salt. And now I want you to get about two pounds of potatoes. I like them peeled and chopped. And try to make sure that the water is about one inch above the potato line. Now take about one large carrot. Of course, you peeled, sliced it, put that in the pot. Let's cover it and let's wait until at least the potatoes are tender to the fork. Take your pan over medium high and add about two tablespoons of your favorite olive oil. Add about one medium chopped onion. Now you can use white or you can use red, whichever you prefer. Add about four to five garlic cloves and as you can see here, I have sliced them. Now this is an option. I'm adding one hot red chili pepper it's about a small size I would say and now just move it around like this now here comes the tomato paste I want you to add two tablespoons and the secret here is I want you to move it around and I want you to fry the tomato paste okay increase your pan to high and add about half a cup of white wine this is going to make this dish absolutely fantastic when all this comes together now let's add some fresh ground pepper how much as much as you want and now let's add some salt how much I wouldn't go more than half a teaspoon now to give it that extra flavor I'm adding one teaspoon of powdered veggie stock and it is low sodium why? Because I like to control the amount of salt I put in, not in other ingredients. Reduce the heat back to medium and I want you to add about two to three coriander leaves. You can add more if you want. And now I want you to add six to eight whole all spice to it. Now let's stir it around for another couple of minutes and blend in all these flavors. Are we done yet? No, we're not. Let's add about two medium uh, tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, and they must be peeled. It's always a good idea with this dish to remove the peels. Now I have here about two pounds of cod and it is skinless. Now I chopped it up, put it into the pan like this very gently. And I want you to stir it all around and get it all blended in very well. Now stir very gently because as the fish cooks it will start to fall apart. Now grab yourself about half a pound of shrimp and this is pre-cooked shrimp and I want the tails removed. Okay let it go for about two minutes and now this is what I want you to do. I want you to turn off the heat and don't worry about cooking the shrimp 100% through because after all it is pre-cooked and I don't want to overcook it. Okay, let's go back to our pot where we have our potatoes and our carrots. So grab yourself a large chunk of potato, put a fork through it. If it is reasonably soft, you know it's ready. Now it's very simple. Take your mixture of your fish and your shrimp and just put it into the pot just like this. Make sure your heat is reduced to medium. And let's add about a quarter cup of green onions and guess what one quarter cup of parsley you know parsley is my favorite just look at the colors here now let's wait for it to come up to a simmering boil and then we are going to turn off the heat because i don't want anything overcooked here 
Okay, with the heat off, we're going to cover it and let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. But for now, let me just show you what's in here. Of course, it's still not fully cooked, but it will be in a few minutes. So this is basically it. My mother would be proud of me. My mother will be proud of you guys. So please enjoy. So once again, thank you for watching my video. And it's goodbye from Tony and Cooking Around.